Hi, I'm Pete from Jamie's Food Team and today I'm going to show you how to shuck an oyster. Now this is my oyster and as you can see it's got two shells facing one another tightly clamped together. Now what we're going to do is put a knife in here in between the top shell and the bottom shell and prise the two shells apart. And this oyster is still alive. They have to be alive if you want to eat them safely and so it's holding on, pulling its shells together. It doesn't want to be opened, so it's, it's very tightly shut. So we have to open them in a very particular way. Now, you need a special knife to open an oyster. This is an oyster knife. And as you can see, it's got a wooden handle you can grip tightly, and it's got a very short, thick, stiff blade, which is essential for opening oysters. What you don't want to use is an ordinary kitchen knife like that, which is not strong enough. And if you try and open an oyster with it, it will bend. The other thing you mustn't use is a sharp kitchen knife like this with a sharp edge. Because firstly, it will bend and you'll ruin your knife. And secondly, if you slip, I don't think I have to tell you how nasty that will be if the knife goes into your hand or your wrist or anything like that. Oyster knives are really, they're made for the job. They're just short, and thick and very strong, which is what you need when you're opening an oyster. The oyster knife's also got this hilt or a shield here, so that when you do go into an oyster, you protect your knuckles here from the shell. Now to open your oyster, you're going to hold it in your left hand, work the knife between the two shells and open them. But you still need a lot of force to get this knife in. And if it slips, even though the oyster knife's blunt, you still don't want that going into your hand. So what you do is take a tea towel, fold it up and put it in your left hand or your right hand if you're left-handed. Pop the oyster in the middle. Keep that piece of the cloth folded back so you can see what you're doing. Put the oyster down on your tray. I like to open oysters on a tray so that any juice that comes out is kept in the tray. If you can do it on a chopping board if you like, but that means some of the juice runs all over the table and you have to clean it up. So the easiest and least messy way is to do it in a tray. A lot of people stick the knife into the hinge here to open the oyster. But I find it slightly easier if you put it in at the edge. So look for the bit where the two shells join. And you can see, see that white bit there? That's the upper side of the bottom shell. And you can see the join just in there. And that's where it put your knife. Tight grip on the oyster. Now push the knife into the join between the top shell and the bottom shell. Work your knife in, and once you're in, rotate your knife like that and you cut the join between the top shell and the oyster, and you can pull it off. Now you often have a little bit of shell that's broken, so you can just pull that out. There's your oyster. Now it's still stuck to the bottom shell. So what you need to do is take your knife and just scrape it free from the bottom shell. So your oyster is nice and ready to eat. And try and keep the shell as level as you can to keep as much of the oyster juice in the shell as possible, because that's really quite tasty. And then you pop it on the ice. So same as before, knife goes in slightly at the side. You need to wiggle it in, twist it, push the top shell off. Then once you get a gap you can work with, slide the knife down the shell and pull 
top shell off the oyster. There we go. Scrape any bits of shell out there. And just loosen it from the bottom. And that's your oyster ready to eat. There we go. So these oysters, just been freshly opened. I like to serve them pretty much right away. But you can open a few ahead of time if you want to get started. And then finish off the last few as your guests arrive. That's not a problem. But I wouldn't do something like open them the day before and then serve them the next day. And that's how to shuck an oyster.